Okay. Look at this stuff. Okay. I'm not a professional. <laughs> Hey everyone! Okay, so it's Maria and Joran again, um, and as promised, this is the switch. So this is the song that he picked for me to listen to. I haven't heard it. I don't even think he's heard it yet. Nope. So you could tell us a little bit, like about the band, like maybe what genre they're in, and the name. It's Twelve Foot Ninja. Um, the name of the song is Vengeance. I think the name of their album looks like it's Vengeance. Um, I believe they're from Australia. They're like a weird mixture of a lot of different music metal they they get they're kind of known for being a mix in most of their songs with being all of a sudden getting silly oh being kind of silly but then also being heavy and awesome at the same time well apple classifies them as hard rock so we'll see but i feel like this will be very different from what we just listened to yeah like i said it could be you know uh kind of heavy the whole time but usually they sort of throw in some weird silliness in there too so it's okay. it's a nice mixture of the two well y'all we're gonna listen to this and here so here we go here we go It feels so aggressive. Doesn't mm -hmm. it feel so aggressive? A little bit, a little bit. I don't know, Taylor was like, Taylor was like, oh, here we are, happy, but really sad. And this is just, it sounds a little, we're... Trust happy. me, it could change at yeah. any moment. You'll be like, what? Oh, okay, here we go. We're going that, that way. Okay. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let you be in charge of pausing when you feel the need to pause, um, because it's your song. But no, I'll let you do it. Oh, you don't yeah. want to do it. You, you've you don't got, want to do it? you've got the pacing down. I don't. Okay. I don't, do I don't even remember the sound of the voice because I was the music was so like in the beginning. I didn't know if that was like a, a modified like scream sound that they made or if it was an instrument. No, I'm pretty sure that was screaming. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, it said, "I can hear the neon lights." I can taste the sweat and dirt. I am shackled to this bed, burnt out like a cigarette. Well, I mean, I mean. Who knows what's going on here? Well, if you can hear the neon lights, I feel like that's usually somewhere that is, I don't say seedy, but usually when you mm -hmm. think of the neon yeah. lights or yeah. what is it, are the neon lights, a honky tonk. I don't think we're in a honky tonk, but you know, they do say that. Um, I mean, it could be, yeah, it could be like a, well, CD hotel. Yeah, because he can taste the sweat and dirt, and he's shackled to the bed. So I feel like things are have progressed over his night. He's burnt out like a cigarette. I also think you know cigarettes usually happen after a certain activity. You know, but the song's called Vengeance. Oh, the song so, is called I Vengeance. I mean, who would knows? you say they're a band whose song goes with their their song title goes with like whatever they're talking about? Because you know some bands don't. No, I think I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. They so, are. So shackled to a bed right now in a dirty, I think, hotel burnout like a cigarette. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you know. <laughs> this song has an overall like ominous tone mm -hmm. right and it's very suspenseful and then suddenly he's like Vendor! like it just it, i wasn't i wasn't ready for it i told you um it, everything he says like he can hear the locking door so like he's been thrown to the wolves so someone like i feel like has has left him in this uh, what i assume is a room don't know shackled I mean... up 
But he's been thrown to the wolves, so someone... You've thrown me to the wolves, so someone has. Mm-hmm. Taste of blood is on their breath. Do you think on his breath or on their breath after the person that fed him to the wolves? I think it said on their breath. And all and in the air, yep. he just dreams of vengeance. So he got done wrong, y'all. Yeah, something happened. Something... He somebody's got, got him tied up in a closet or something. Maybe. I, we don't even know where. I mean, we don't. Let's just, um, okay. There's so much happening there's so much happening with their voices and the music but he's just dreaming of vengeance and he's gonna watch them burn he's gonna bring them hell i mean i don't know how you're gonna do that when you're shackled to a bed my friend hate is the dirt that i'll bury you with that's pretty good i mean that's a met that's a good metaphor from the grave Ooh. hate hate is the dirt that i'll bury you with from the grave that I dig for myself. Well, yeah, so that's the next line. So that I dig oh. for myself, but I, I stopped it before. But mm. yeah, so from the grave that I dig for myself, like he he put himself here. Mm. I think is what he's saying. Like it's like when you make your bed you, and you have to lie in it. Like maybe he the digs. vengeance is to towards himself. Maybe it's towards himself. But from the grave that I dig for myself, so he knows maybe maybe it's maybe it's like maybe he's mad at himself. And he's mad at this person because he's in the same situation again. Hmm. But that's intense. Interesting. But he's going to bury this person. He's going to get him. It's like some walking. Like yep. heels almost. Didn't I just say in this bed you made? Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Like I said, that sound it sounds almost like someone walking away, like in heels, like someone like this person he's talking to. Um, you watch me like an animal, flesh and bones, I am the prey. And I've dreamed you've died a thousand times. But then he also kinda I feel like makes it sound like he's kinda put himself here. But you watch me like an animal. So she's like the predator. He thinks he's the prey. Mm -hmm. Um and it's physical, because we're talking about flesh and bones. It's not like, you know, mentally. Um, I feel like that l lends to the song, the backing of the song, because it does sound ominous. Like a cat and mouse kind of thing happening. Definitely, yeah. And then, in this bed you made. So she made the bed that he's in. What does that mean? In this bed that you made. So she created the problem, and now he's kind of in her bed. So maybe it's her or the whoever this person is. Yeah. They maybe they are friends. Maybe they were friends before, and then they created this chaos and like double crossed them. Could be. Yeah. Do you think? What do you think? Could be that it kind of seems like he was involved too, but it's I, much more. I'm gonna get you. For what? either we've done or you've done i feel like he's kind of putting all the blame on this other person hey. but i don't know we don't know what happens so maybe they deserve it listening to like eight, di eight different songs i told you they they just all of a sudden it's like a completely different i mean i think it's helpful because it keeps you on your toes 
you're not what well, so i'm an apparition a ghost you're not going to take me alive well i mean you really can't take a ghost alive because they're dead but yeah maybe it's coming back from the grave to to, to bury that person mm -hmm. with the, the dirt of their grave Ooh, like the crow yeah yeah ended that was it there was no it was like and we're done now mm -hmm. um i'm still like i felt like there's a whole story there where we found we saw the fall of a person and then the rise of vengeance of that person mm -hmm. and then it just ended so maybe they got their vengeance and then they were done and we were done and they were done yep he said he was gonna do it said he was gonna get it they screwed him over they fed him to the wolves. They burned him out like a cigarette. Tied to a bed. Maybe he's murdered. Maybe he was a ghost the whole time. And he's like watching the scene. Could be. Yeah. Um, I will say from a lot of the metal songs and the, the rock songs that you have made me listen to, this is at least the one where I can understand what they're saying. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot where they're screaming, but I'm like, what is happening? saying um yeah most of their songs are kind of i mean this one's it's like they're experimenting like it feels like they're experimenting with a lot of different things in there is this not what they usually sound like they sound different all the time okay. i mean their songs are so you know but this has kind of uh i don't know uh techno-y kind of vibe in it which they don't usually have so but he does a lot of screaming and singing. I didn't mind it. Some of it was a little jarring. Mm -hmm. um, and there were so many changes in there. That yeah, it wasn't even too, really too much metal. Um, what would you rate this song? Hmm. Is it in your top five? By them? Yeah. Mm, probably not. Oh. So we didn't even get to listen to one of the top fives. Yeah, but you know, if it's just one track on the album, but I would say it's like eight. I like it. You liked it more than the Taylor Swift song. Yeah, yeah. It's not really her genre is like below your genre, which metal is metal genre. I guess it's fine. Yeah. If she did, if Taylor Swift did a rock album or a metal album, would you listen to it? Yeah, check it out. I would be very intrigued to <laughs> her be... screaming and yelling. I mean, maybe she'd be great at it and we just don't know. She might be. She's a pretty soft singer, but I mean, you never know. You never know. Well, guys, that is the crossover of 12 Foot Ninja and Taylor Swift. The crossover you didn't know you wanted, but maybe now you do. So thanks for watching. We will be back, or at least I'll be back, um, with another one next week. Bye!